Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you a new feature we have for Nitro Forms with our table designer element that we can now add to tabs and sections. So I'll start by showing you uh, where it is in the Forms Designer. Uh, if you look under Form Controls, you'll see that you have another uh, item here for table 3x3. Three three. Now you can set a different size to this if you wanted to have it be 4x4 four four or a different uh, different size you could certainly come in here and do that set to 3 by 4 or you could do uh, 4 by 4 and drag then once you're ready you can drag and drop it onto your tab once you've got it on your tab you can then play around with it and add more columns add more rows as needed so if you right click in the tab uh, in the table you can go to uh, insert add more columns to the left you can also go to insert and add rows above or below or wherever you need them. Within each of these cells, uh, within the table itself even, you can add a background color. So let's go ahead and add a light gray background color to our table. I'll go ahead and choose something in this range here and hit OK. Now we have a background to our table. Not only that, we can have a different background for each of these uh, each of these cells. So let's say we want to do repeating, uh, you know, kind of those alternating rows where you have one row of cells be uh, dark gray, one row of cells be lighter. We can do cell properties, and now we can choose a different, different hue for that cell. So we can go and do that for each of those. One thing, cool thing about it is now that I've selected one of the colors, it's going to let me pre-select that color for the next cell, so I don't have to remember the RGB code or anything like that. We can just go and hit background and hit OK. Hit uh, cell properties, background, hit OK. And same one here. OK, now that we've added some color to our form, I want to go ahead and show you that you can actually, you can merge cells. So to uh, have a larger field, or like a big text box, you could add it into a big section here. So what we can do is merge these three columns and two rows. So I'll merge three columns, two rows, and it becomes one big field. And I can add any of my field columns to that, that form now. Um, and I can go ahead and also change the color here if I wanted it to look like that blue color we had before or leave it as a gray color. We can also drag and drop uh, any of our co form controls into any of these fields. And then you'll also may have noticed that there's an option to change the, the cell width, the cell height. So if you want to have variability in how the information is displayed on your, your column, on your row or, or table, you can do that. There's also options for borders. There's options for uh, padding. There's options for alignment. Uh, we can also do column layout. Uh, I mean, there's a lot in here. So you can really get detailed and have some fun with it and play around with what different settings look good to you and really um, enhance your form and make it look really cool. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone.